Tonight, there's some changes ahead for anyone who uses a ride sharing service and headed out to Columbia's Five Points. Our Michael Fuller explains. The traffic can be really, really bad down here. Uh, on a Friday and a Saturday night. A new rideshare drop-off pickup location is coming to the Five Points area. Tazima Brown, owner of Sunrise Artisan, tells us why she thinks the new pickup drop-off location will be beneficial. I do think that it'll help eliminate some of the traffic jam that we often have to deal with in Five Points uh, on Friday and Saturday nights because at that point the kids can actually get on a bus, come down here, and then get picked back up and taken back uh, to campus. It was important this year to all of us that we make it one centralized location. Amy Beth Franks, executive director of the Five Points Association, takes us to the 2100 block of Santee Avenue to describe what the new setup is going to look like. Right now we're standing on Santee Avenue, which is going to be where the new Thursday, Friday and Saturday night transportation corridor will be. On this side of the street, on the old Harper's soon to be home team barbecue side, is where USC's transportation corridor will be. On this side of the street, we'll have our ride chairs, your Ubers, your Lyft, cabs, and even dropping off friends. And that's on the Bank of America drive through side. This is extremely important for both the drivers of people just driving through the neighborhood. I know that you've stopped before for a car in front of you that was dropping somebody off and they're putting pedestrians out in the middle of the street and they're blocking traffic and that can cause frustration and, and congestion. You do not have to get dropped off here or get picked up here, but we are asking that people consider using this area. Now the Columbia Police Department is still asking pedestrians and drivers in the area to follow normal safety protocol when on the road, but they believe this will help to alleviate congestion. Reporting in Five Points, Michael Fuller, News 19, WLTX. Well, Santee Avenue will be closed Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights from 10 until 4 to make room for that new corridor.